Okay, uh, Chernobyl versus Fukushima. Uh, this is what they did in Chernobyl is in the first week, first of all, they sent the firemen in there to die thinking that they were, uh, thinking that they were going to fight an electrical fire and they put the fire out. Uh, the, the fire captain was exposed to so much radiation that he died. The, uh, he died on May 10th. The um, Chern Chernobyl occurred on April 26th. But in the first week after they got the fire extinguished, which was on the first day, uh, they covered the plant over with sand, lead, and boric acid dropped from helicopters. They say uh, 5,000 metric tons of material were dropped during the week that followed the accident. And you know, that is exactly what should have been done in Fukushima. <clears throat> what did they do in Fukushima? They dumped a bunch of water on it. Now, uh, I was unaware of this until I browsed on over to Wiki uh, Wikipedia on the Chernobyl disaster. And... Uh, they say that uh, it was a great concern that the uh, nuclear fuel meet water. You know, they were saying, like, that's the absolute worst thing that could happen. And uh, so they prevented that by freezing the ground with liquid nitrogen under the reactor. So that, you know, when the reactor did pour or um, did melt through the, the concrete that uh, it would meet a, a frozen ground of liquid nitrogen. You know, why didn't they just put the liquid nitrogen directly on the, you know, the nuclear fuel? I don't know. You know, it seems uh, to be what would make sense to me, is to freeze it and then to break it into pieces so that it's not, ra or so that it's not a critical mass, which is going to continue to superheat. Uh, but, you know, it seems like they, they so grossly mishandled the Chernobyl disaster. Also, you know, there's better things that could have been done, but um, even the Chernobyl standards have not been applied to Fukushima. And what they have done in Fukushima is just let the nuclear spew continue on and continue on. They even announced that they have no plans to do anything about it. And what makes sense to do about it is to pour sand and boron and... Uh, eventually to concrete entombment and um, you know it would seem that the concrete entombment you know for that to come sooner than later would be what is best but um, they they have absolutely no plans to do that they're just gonna allow Fukushima to, to continue to nuclear spew until you know until everybody's dead or you know until they they're able to kill as many people with the Fukushima nuclear spew as they're trying to kill and um, I want to find this place on Wikipedia where they're talking about not pouring water on it. I'll look up liquid nitrogen on this page. There we go. Fire inside reactor 4 continued to burn until 10 May 1986. It is possible that well over half of the graphite burned out. The fire was extinguished by a combined effort of helicopters dropping over 5,000 metric tons of sand, lead, clay, and neutron-absorbing boron onto the burning reactor and injection of liquid nitrogen. Okay, so there we go. They, they did put some liquid nitrogen on the reactor. And um, uh, there's, a, there's another mention in here of liquid nitrogen, semi-liquid material... There it is. With the bubbler pool gone, a meltdown was less likely to produce a powerful steam explosion. To do so, the molten core would now have to reach the water table below the reactor. To reduce the likelihood of this, it was decided to freeze the earth beneath the reactor, which would also stabilize the foundations. So there we go. Uh, using oil drilling equipment, the injection of liquid nitrogen began on 4 May. It was estimated that 25 metric tons of liquid nitrogen were injected, <clears throat> or uh, 25 liquid, 25 tons of liquid nitrogen per day would be required to keep the soil frozen at negative 100 degrees Celsius. 
Uh, this idea was soon scrapped and the bottom room where the cooling system would have been installed was filled with concrete. <clears throat> so, you know, there, there's a protocol, you know, it's right here on Wikipedia, you know, what it is that can be done about a nuclear meltdown. And, you know, what have they done over in Japan as they dump seawater on it? You know, that was the, the whole extent of, of their, um, you know, of their response to it was, number one, to wait for electricity. Why didn't they just gather up every car ba uh, battery they needed and, you know, bring it over there, you know, hook it up to, or plug it into the wall with a, um, uh, with a power inverter? You know, there's, uh, there's devices that you can hook a battery up to and then you just plug it directly into the wall power and then, you, you know, they would have had electricity there. You know, it's like, uh, the Japanese government can't afford, like, you know, um, you know something that you, you can buy on eBay for $200. You know, it's just, uh, it is just absolutely ridiculous that they had nearly no response, you know, and they didn't do anything that made sense. And their response was the opposite of what would solve the situation uh, apparently to dump seawater on a, on a pool of molten uh, nuclear fuel is the absolute worst thing that can be done and um, I don't know when uh, when the when um, you know, it came to the attention of nuclear scientists widely that you know the response was you know so murderous then the Obama administration sent them fresh water. They sent them a barge of fresh water, but you know, it's not what is best to send them fresh water either. They need to put sand on it in boron and eventually encase it in concrete. You know, and for you know, there to have been none of that as a response to this and for this to be continuing to go you know, more than a month later now, and they uh, they announced just like a week ago that they have no expectation that they're going to solve this for even more months. You know, they're going to do nothing about it that would make sense to prevent all that radiation from continuing to spew into the atmosphere around the whole of the planet Earth. And um, in Arizona, already, the amount of radiation that is in the milk is... 1600 times higher than what the EPA will allow in drinking water. Um, you know, so obviously this is going to cause massive cancer worldwide. And, uh, you know, if added to it is some, you know, worse nuclear disaster, say nuclear terrorism, nuclear war, or something like that, the people of Earth are already prepped. You know, everybody already breathed enough radiation that, you know, some other little, you know, dose of radiation from a, you know, a nuclear terrorist event, uh, you know, just, um, you know, anywhere, you know, it, uh, so much quicker. People are going to be dropping off the planet. And, um, yeah, I don't know, they, they, I found this one, uh, website or um, on Connecting Dots 1, uh, that's a YouTube channel, uh, they have this video, Fukushima equals um, 2,000 atomic bombs, 7 billion radioactive lethal doses so far, so, you know, 10 times the amount of lethal doses that, uh, that the, the whole human population needs in order uh, to be killed. 70 billion radioactive lethal doses. So the, the human population is